over 500 entries for only 34 spots. For some, it will fulfill a lifetime dream, and for others, it will be another year of heartache. Every year, young ladies from all over the world gather in Tampa, Florida for their one shot to be part of something special. For some, it's been a year of planning, contemplating, training, and wondering, what if? For these ladies, everything they've been working for will be put to the test in the next three weeks. There are sure to be tears of disappointment, along with tears of joy. But for all of these ladies, all they're looking for is one chance. A chance to be a part of the NFL's elite. A chance to be a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleaders. Hi, I'm Rachel Watson, and welcome back to the second round of the 2010 Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleaders auditions. I didn't sleep a wink. I didn't sleep at all. I kept waking up and looking at my phone and having dreams that I missed my alarm. I could not sleep. I woke up like every hour on the hour. What time is it? I'm afraid I'm not gonna wake up. We're on the campus of the University of South Florida, which is a familiar site for the audition process. The rookie candidates that have advanced are feeling the pressure because the vets are now thrown into the mix. As far as um, pressure, I think it's pretty much across the board for everyone. The candidates come in, they learn a choreographed routine, and they practice it for approximately an hour. Then we send them out and bring them in in groups of three, and they perform the routine in front of the judges. I can really feel for these girls. Looking back, I remember how nervous and anxious I was. It looks pretty intimidating from up here. Everyone picks up choreography at their own pace. What's important is that you just need to focus on yourself and not look to the left or right of you to see who's picking up the choreography the fastest. I think when you're learning it, it seems like it's so long and then when you actually put it all together, it seems, you know, it flows. another little twist to the audition process. The girls will now be jazz walking from one end of the room to the other. This is a really good time for their personalities to show. I feel like they really took a lot of time and looked at each individual person. It's, uh, it's very dance, it's very dance style this year, very uh, jazzy. So I'm very much in my comfort zone. I'm really looking forward to going out there and performing it. The decision to come back from year to year is always a difficult one. Along with many changes, any returning veteran that has been on the team for four years, this will be their final year auditioning. This is my last audition for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleaders, and even though I'm really, really sad that, you know, I don't want to say goodbye and this is my last year, but I'm extremely fortunate and I feel really lucky to have this opportunity. There's always a lot of pressure coming back as a veteran because you know what you've been missing out on. You've been missing out on the friendships, the experience of game day, being able to be involved in the community as a veteran. I just want to go out with the bang for my last audition. I know this is the only one. Now that the candidates have learned the trial routine, they will now make their way outside the auditorium. While auditions are taking place, there will be a little bit of wait time. For some ladies, they will use this time as an opportunity to review the choreography on their own. But for others, this will only build up the pressure even more. So we're back with my former teammate, Millie. Millie, how's the audition process going so far? I think it's going really well. It seems to be going uh, really smoothly and everyone's picking up the choreography really quickly. So um, I, I think I'm doing okay. So we'll see what happens when I get in there. 
And does it feel good to be back in there learning choreography again? It feels really, really great to be back in there. Um, there's a lot of familiar faces, a lot of my former teammates that I haven't danced with in a year, so I'm just really excited to be learning some new dance moves again. Narrowing down the candidates isn't an easy process. So what exactly are the judges looking for in a Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleader? The judges are really looking for someone that um, is able to pick up the, the choreography and um, personality, energy, if they're able to engage the audience. I was looking for a lot of personality. I was looking for a dance technique. I was looking for somebody to definitely stand out and really make the choreography pop. The individual auditions where we went three at a time could have gone a little better, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I definitely messed up just in a few parts. Um, I felt like I hadn't danced with so much energy and spunk in such a long time that I forgot the steps. So I made up for it in the middle and looked at the other girls and kind of smiled my way through it. Um, so hopefully it's enough to get me to the next round. It's really easy for any of the candidates to come out and you, you'll see them in the rehearsal when they're learning the dance and they'll have it great and they come out in front of the judges and for some reason something misfires and, and they don't perform it as well as they could. Um, it, it may be the surrounding, it may be just anxiety getting to them, it's really hard to tell but it happens a lot. I think I pulled it together enough to show my personality and hopefully make it through the next round. I was really nervous, like I, during like the practice, like I had the dance, I was getting it with all the counts, and then like when you get up to the judges, like oh my gosh, like my mind blinked, and then I was like, okay, take a deep breath, and like just remember it, you just had it perfect. When our veterans come in on this round, we really expect them to stand out for our judges to know without us telling them that those are the veterans, that they're coming back, they want their spot, and, and they really stand out. I just finished auditioning, and I just came out of there knowing that, that was my last one. So I just, you know, I had to go in there and do my best no matter what happens. I think I did well. Um, I messed up a little towards the end, but I kept smiling. I kept um, eye contact with the judges, so hopefully they saw through that. Now is the time that the candidates will find out if they've advanced to the next round. One of the most nerve-wracking moments of the audition process is waiting to hear if your number is called. Today we cut the number to 60. 644, 647, 648. Thank you very much for coming out today. Everyone looks great. I was so happy and just like so thankful and like so excited like I still can't even believe it. <laughs> I can't explain how excited I was. Um, it was just really phenomenal feeling. It really you know validated all the hard work that I have put in over the last two years. This is a lifelong dream of mine. It's been an amazing opportunity. It's been a wonderful journey throughout my life and it's made me who I am today. And I hope that I'm honored to be back, that I can retire on my eighth season and be here with all the rest of the girls. You know, it's been the best four years of my life and hopefully, you know, I can enjoy my fifth. This will do it for round two of the audition process. Congratulations to the candidates who have advanced. These ladies are a few steps closer to becoming a Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleader but it's not over yet. The candidates will come back to our training camp. It's sort of a mock rehearsal. We have two nights here at USF where they come in. We have a photo shoot. Then the rest of the night is ran like a, one of our regular rehearsals. We really see how they interact with each other, if they improve on the choreography, if they improve throughout the process. Um, the final night is uh, at One Buck Place again, and they have um, an individual audition in front of a panel of judges. I hope for the next round that I can just do my best, that I can show them, you know, that I have improved, that I can continue to improve. I came this far, it's like so close, so, and I really want it.